Hello, the goal of this diagram is to show you all of the important concepts residing behind what we call the private database cloud at Oracle. This diagram is currently a beta version and should be valid for Oracle Database 11G R2. You can download the diagram in PDF format from the URL below. As you can see, various colors are used to segregate the four important layers that constitute this architecture. Starting from the bottom, you can find the storage layer in light green. This color is used to denote all the concepts attached to the Exadata storage cells. You can also find parts of the Exadata layer in the cluster layer at the top of the architecture. The cluster layer uses the pink color. In between those two layers, you have the volume manager layer that we call Automatic Storage Management or ASM, represented in blue on that diagram. And just above it, you find the database layer in light brown. In addition, the diagram uses dark green to denote a concept linked to the feature called Quality of Service, or QoS. The light indigo is used to show the concepts that are part of the IO Resource Manager feature of the Exadata layer. Finally, the light gray is used to represent the database file system concept that we also call DBFS, implemented using LOBS. Now, each word on this diagram is basically a concept. And as you can see, concepts are linked together by arrows to denote a relationship between them. Most of the time, this relationship is some sort of master detail relationship. For example, if we take the concept of physical structures, found in the database layer, there is an arrow pointing to the possible list of physical structures one can find in an Oracle database. That is, data file, temp file, redulog file, and so on. Similarly, there is an arrow between segments and all possible kind of segments you can find. If you take the tableau space concept, you can see arrows pointing to both data files and temp files. This means that one tableau space can contain one or many data files or temp files. You can also observe other important hierarchies and their relationships like tableau spaces, segments, extends and blocks or ASM disk groups, ASM disks and ASM files. Another interpretation example is for ASM files. There are arrows pointing at all possible kind of ASM files in the database layer as well as the cluster and volume manager layer. So an ASM file can be a data file, a flashback log, or any listed in the physical structures concept. But an ASM file can also be a voting file or an OCR file as well as an ADVM volume. Hopefully you will find this diagram useful to grasp the most important concepts and their relationships for the entire database cloud layers. Thanks for listening.